Okay, what's up, y'all? Um, really quick, I got an angel uh, message. Um, you know, I communicate with my spirit guys through um, you know, angel numbers. So frequently, uh, you know, I used to tell them, you know, get on here and do a, a little reading. Um, when I get them out of time, but you know, I kind of like uh, I'm gonna try to stop back doing it. But four to eight, four to eight angel number, and so when I do get the number, I like to. I always do like the original angel number meaning, and then I always do the twin flame meaning, always in 4848. So, in any number that I see, so let's get started. So, he's saying 4848 is talking about success, benevolence, and gratitude. Okay, so it's saying 4848 meaning angel number 4848 represents success, benevolence, and gratitude. Remain glad that angels have recognized your hard work and steadfast. Before long, progress is coming your way. The high powers applaud you for your integrity and your truth you instill throughout this journey. Okay, so it's about success, benevolence, and gratitude. I'm not really sure about what benevolence means. You can look it up. I'm not finna, um, I ain't gonna get into all that, but just look it up. Um, in your gratitude, also is talking about um progress that's coming your way. So it's like what you put out. You know, this is the season, and remember that. Like the things you put out, the the things you put out is what you getting back. If you put nothing out there, you get nothing back. If you working on yourself, you doing your shadow work, you doing what you got to do, you upright, and just know whatever you put out there is coming back to you. And it look like you making a lot of progress. So some something it said before long, progress is coming your way. Um, the high power applies you. So your angels, your your spirit guides, your ancestors, they all the most high is applauding you for your integrity, for your truth, for being uh, uh, standing in your truth, for being real. Because, you know, a lot of people be scared to stand in that truth because they're scared of what's going to happen to them. But when you trust in the Lord and you have put all your faith in the Lord and you know that you're protected, that's how... That's how you, that, to me, that's how I formed a relationship with, you know, with the Most High. Like, I knew I was, was protected. Like, when I go out into the world, I don't have nothing to worry about. I don't worry about a thing. I do what I got to do. I take care of my business. I don't go get out in the streets and play. I take care of my business. If I ain't got to be out there, I don't be out there. But, as you know, being a victim of gang stalking, do I worry about anything when I step out my door? Fuck no. I don't worry about a thing because I put all my trust in the Lord. And I know that I'm protected. I know I got my spirit guide, my angels with me. I know that I'm I'm fully protected. Plus, I got my arm on, so I'm protected like a motherfucker. I don't worry about nothing. I have nothing to worry about when I get out. And so I just feel like that with you standing in your truth. A lot of people scared to just they're not there yet with the standing in their truth. Oh boy, but when you get there, you, you motherfucker ain't gonna be able to keep your mouth shut. Ain't nothing you won't say. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff that it, it could be stuff that I say that I know. That every motherfucker be scared to say, or oh, they'll be being they got touched. But I'm so protected that you know what I'm saying. This is my calling. This is what I'm here to do. This is my purpose. So I'm like untouchable at this point. You know what I'm saying. So that's that's how I look at it. You know, throughout this journey that I've been on. So and I still keep my, I, you know, keep my integrity. I stand in my truth no matter what, and that's what's instilled in me. So this, I feel like, you know, the same for you. You know what I'm saying? Because this is for the collector. Four day, four day, angel normal is for the collector. Okay. <laughs> so it's like representing a, a success. So before long, progress is coming your way. So some type of success with whatever you've been doing, whatever you've been putting out there. You know what I'm saying? And also the gratitude you have, and a lot of you all, like y'all, um, it's like y'all very. I'm I'm getting somebody who prays a lot, like even for the littlest things or the things that you don't have that you're about to receive that you don't even know it yet. You praying for that too. Don't think that. Uh, your prayers going unheard. You know, somebody even told me that. Don't think that everything that you've been praying for, your prayers have been heard. And so, I want to tell you the same thing. Like, don't think that nothing you've done or been through has been in vain. Okay? You um you want a God's strongest soldier. So, you know, you got to go through a little hard. You know, your battles might be a little rougher than others. But that's because the most I know that what you got in you um. Even before you knew what you had, that power that you possess inside of you. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 what I'm getting with that. So let's look up um angel number four day four day in twin flame. Four day four day in twin flame. I think I feel like you uh you're about to you're approaching like um new beginnings, growth, transformation, that type of thing. Hold on, let me see.
Okay, it said harboring. Harboring. Har Harbinger of positive change and spiritual connections. So it's saying uh, in relation to a twin flame reunion is a harboring of positive change and spiritual connection. It signifies that you are nearing the position of reuniting with your twin flame. This reunion is a powerful event that brings both challenges and immersed growth. Immersed growth. So some type of, yeah, I'm getting change, positive change, spiritual connection, spiritual growth. Um, you said nearing the point of my phone finna go dead. Let me hear him nearing the point of reuniting. So somebody's finna re reunite with their twin. Let me pull a couple cards. These are twin flame cards. So let's see. Reuniting with your twin. Look, when I split the deck, what they say? Twin flame union. Heart, body, mind, and soul. Literally, when I split the deck. Mm. There you go, right there. Twin flame uh, union. It look like somebody's finna meet their twin. Way, you know, reuniting. This says reuniting, so you re... Whatever these feelings are that y'all have for each other, they very or real, whether you know it or not, Okay. soulmate it says you have found your romantic counterpart okay and of course you know soulmate can turn to a twin flame so don't don't worry about it saying soulmate and it don't say twin flame but you already got twin flame union here so this y'all coming together in the soulmate energy okay let's see i'm getting over uh, you're my queen to be what's that um uh, coming to America. I'm picking that dinner. I'm picking that uh, that movie up when he was singing, You're my queen to be. I think when they got married, I think this was well, something like that. And then you got marriage on the bottom of the deck, too, as well. So this could actually turn into a marriage. Y'all reuniting and getting together. This could be a marriage. Mm -mm. Uh, reaching out. So I say reaching out, expect a call or a text from your person of interest. So they're going to reach out to you some type of way. Some type of way, y'all going to reunite. Okay, however that is, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Spirit soul path. I don't know, it's giving me like, uh, y'all put, I don't know. What the hell, somebody trying to come between this or something? Like somebody trying to stop y'all from... It's 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 not giving. Give me another one. Somebody trying to keep this person from reaching out to you, bro. It said, "Open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in." Okay. So when this person come, I don't know. I might feel too good to be true to you. Spirit saying, "Open your heart. It's okay to love this person." I don't know why I keep feeling like though somebody's trying to interrupt this. Or they did. It could have been a third party. Somebody tried to interrupt this. Interrupt this, whatever it is. Look, and I speak to the engagements and keep an open mind. It said, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. And this one right here says soulmate too as well. So this is a soulmate energy. Let's go ahead and look it up. I don't feel like it could be anything for y'all. Let's see. Oh, so many. Uh, it says it could be a close friend or romantic partner. In this instant, I'm getting like a romantic partner. But it's saying companion, best friend. You could be intimate with each other. You can confide in each other. Somebody who feels familiar. Or somebody, a playmate. It could be a classmate. It could be a workmate. Whatever. I'm just getting this person coming along to help you. But I'm getting more of a romantic partner. So keep an open mind. Because this person may differ from your usual type. They may not be what you used to. You know. And like I, I always use me for example. Just to give you an example. Say like, uh, you know, I meet a soulmate energy, right? 
and I might differ from their usual type. They may not be used to somebody like my size. You know what I'm saying? They might be used to women who are smaller or women who are vice versa or um, I'm a psychic and I meet somebody who like they not quite, they've never been with somebody that's a psychic. So Spirit saying just keep an open mind because this person may differ from your usual type. May not be quite what you're looking for, but God ain't going to send you what you want. God going to send you what you need. You see what I'm saying? So pay attention so you don't miss your blessing. Whoever that's for, let me get two more cards and I'm gonna let y'all go. <clears throat> so I don't, every time I get like a, a I don't know, I'm just gonna come and just deliver it like that, or I just put on a community tab if I don't feel like doing the inner video. Okay. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have this could be the one. Stay optimistic about your love life. And then you have a new love to you. This is going to be a new love, okay? Because um, I, don't, I don't feel like for whatever reason, y'all separated and y'all coming together. This ain't one of those things where this person like, um, you know how we be talking about sacrifice and all this shit. This ain't like that. So, it, you know, if you want to take this, if you want to love this person, you want to take them back. If you don't, that's fine. You don't have to be with your twin flying. You do, you do not have to be with that person. Everything will be fine. The most high will send you somebody else just for you. Just, you know what I'm saying? So, don't you worry about that. But, um, yeah, you got new love. A new person has stirred your And then for some of you all, no, nah, I ain't going to even say that. I'm going to just let that go. This could be the one. You've already met the person, the romantic person you seek. And then you have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I feel like that's what you've been doing. So here come this person. Here they come. You have to work on yourself. They have to work on themselves. Whatever y'all had to do on y'all separate time, that's what y'all had to do. And now y'all come together. You see what I'm saying? So they coming in is like a new person. Although, I don't know. Who this person? Yeah, they want to come in and have this hard, hard conversation with you. Yeah, reconcile. Although I can't quite get this person at my head who trying to come between y'all and stop this twin flame union. Why would somebody want to stop a twin flame union? Like I said, it could have been a third party that was involved in this. Yeah, they're trying to rekindle. They ain't gonna look rekindle. They're trying to rekindle this uh relationship they coming back honest communication i just seen honest communication there too so they want to have some type of honest communication with you i don't know what they want to talk about i mean only she they would know and then you for it's for them to know and you to find out because obviously they know and you don't i don't know i'm not even finna get into all that but just know that you definitely have a twin flame and you finna re reunite with them um and spirit said this definitely could be the one so don't give up on them you know what i'm saying don't give up on them. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Everybody not looking for love. But the ones who are, this will be a message for you. If you know you got a twin flame out there somewhere. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? The situation is. Let me pull a couple of signs. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Aquarius, Aqua, Aquaman, Aquaman, we got Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, right, first sign, uh, Mars, Life Path 9, hmm. Jupiter, Life Path 3, Mercury, oh, we have Venus, we have Mercury, Gemini, we have um, Gemini, Libra, Mercury. We got Sun, and we have Sagittarius, Uranus, Saturn. Let's get a couple more. Okay. Um, Earth sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Neptune, Tyler, Virgo, Capricorn. And, cap and double confirmation on the Capricorn. One more spirit. And then we got Cancer. Take care of originate Leo on the bottom of the deck. Although you could be any sign though. Or any sign of your chart. Okay. Just because I can call your sign out. Doesn't mean I'm not talking to you. Okay. And we're going to do it again. Oh. Mm. I sure don't feel like being down picking this card up baby. I'm going to pick it up though. Oh. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. See, I didn't get that the first time I 
shuffled. So it must have missed me to re pull, reshuffle. Life path two, Mars, and Taurus, Capricorn, Saturn. Uh, Tyrus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, double confirmation on the Virgo. Okay, let me see. Let me get a couple of them, y'all, where I can be through. Okay, bottom of the deck, the image of the Aquarius, we have Venus, <clears throat> we have Cancer, Uranus, <clears throat> Jupiter. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, thank y'all for being here. I'm out of here, y'all. Make good choices. Bye.